The one and only Xylophony back with another God card. We have even more support for the Winged Dragon of Ra. Some blazing support. So we're going to see if it's able to put the deck to another level. Mario's even got something fresh to try out. Yeah, so, I've been trying. I've been trying my try and true warriors. Trying to, get them, uh, trying to get them to an appropriate level. Alright. So that might be a good little test here. Because this is a uh, weird deck. It's mixed with a lot of volcanics as well as raw. To see if we can get mm -hmm. some of that kind of stuff going. So, we'll give it our best shot. Starting off with a pot of extravagance. See if I can get a little draw luck. Hopefully not banish all my good stuff. And we can already see the volcanics moving in. So, let's see. That could be a good little just cheeky thing to do. That wouldn't be bad. And that would be reasonable. So, you know what? We're going to do all these things. Um, we're going to set two cards. And I'm going to summon... Sure. Volcanic Rocket. Now let's see if I can actually get anything specifically. Yes! This card can search the new Blaze Cannon card. So we'll grab that. And that card specifically works with the Winged Dragon of Ra. That all being said, I have not a single piece working towards summoning a Winged Dragon of Ra in my hand. So we're gonna chill there. Actually, no, I got one piece, to be fair. And the only problem is I have another pot of extravagance that I'm very tempted to use next turn. But I Are really in? need to keep my uh, god slimes, so I don't know. We got empowerment coming out, okay. Empowerment, discard my millennium shield. Mm hmm And I'll be able to get Dragotides to the field. Nice. Then I'll also activate reinforcements of the army. Very good. This will allow me to get a warrior to the hand. Let's mm -hmm. see. Uh, yeah, I'll get another Dragotides to the hand. So that I can place it in the in this drawer right here. All right, I think just well. So this isn't constantly prompted. I'm gonna use Blaze Accelerator Reload, and that'll just let me discard my Volcanic Counter to get another draw, which mm -hmm. that is unfortunate, but so be it. Yep. But I'll spring this out. Alrighty. Valkyrian but Knight hits the field. Mm-hmm. Now let's do these two. Into a dreadnought dreadnoid. Oh boy. An attack. Good clean numbers. Alright. Of course, I get my big boy. Yeah. Actually, I can should. do to stop that. Uh, actually, should I? Mmm. Nah, I'll, I'll go into the Super Quanto guy. That guy's scary. Yeah, he really is. I had some options. I put some options in here. <laughs> okay. So let's see. So we can just kind of shuffle cards away at the moment. Still spooky. Um, I guess because of this. Yeah. We'll just use this once again. Get myself another draw. Wait, no. All right. Me. Yeah. Switches that out. All the volcanics. Mm hmm. We actually did a duel before this that wasn't quite as exciting. Um, where, and I didn't really draw any volcanics for the majority of the time. But now we're certainly getting them. So there we go. We're doing that. Gonna start burning you. Alright. Well, let's see if I can burn to death. Oh, yeah. And yep. those guys. Yeah, when I do that, it destroys all the monsters my opponent controls, too. Lovely. Yep, yeah, that's. Forgot about like that I part. Waste, feels like I wasted four cards there. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. And if this guy, let's see. So what can I activate here? Um, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. I mean, sure. Go for that, I suppose. There you go. A little bit of burn for you. Now I have Ancient Chant that I drew off the uh, Blaze Accelerator Reload. And that's the card I need to get the Winged Dragon of Ra. There. Ooh, you know what? I can actually make the full play here. So we're going to Metal Reflect Slime. Flip that up. We're going to go into the Egyptian God Slime. Uh, this is actually going to be some very... I mean, I don't need to use the new card here, but it'll work. Um, so I will use the Ancient Chant. I will now summon Winged Dragon of Ra. By way of Ancient Chant. 
using that effect. Gain all the damage. I can activate Blaze Can- uh, actually, hold on. Yeah, let me, um... Let me hit up Monster Reborn. And is there anything super cheeky I can go for here? Let me get Super Quantum Mech King Magnus here. Now I'm pretty sure this... We're gonna use a Blaze Cannon. On the Winged Dragon of Ra. Now, one, he can't be affected by your card effects, and it's quick play, so I could use that to defend myself if need be. And um, I can tribute the Super Quantum Mech King to take his damage. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And also, during after damage calculation, if you add any monsters, I can send them all to the graveyard. So let's try it. I'll go to battle. I will activate that effect. 1420. I can... So one of my strategies to hold you back, potentially, mm -hmm. is using Dragotides. Dragotides, if, yeah. you declare, if you declare an attack on a, on a monster of mine, I can actually discard a card yeah. and have your attack. But... I don't even think that would have worked if you, even if you attacked into mine. Yeah, I mean, having my attack is big, but it's a lot of attack. So, that's the new Blaze Cannon! Um, now, of course, having another monster on your field while having your uh, Winged Dragon of Ra out there isn't the most common thing. So, it is a situational card that all being said and done. But, you know, it clearly the numbers help out there. Ancient Chant, though, however, gives you the num more attack power and it helps you summon. But then again, this one's also a level of protection. Um, I think we, we're thinking about it. I don't know if it's a three copy card. Yeah. And I don't Means know if I the, bla the uh, volcanics particularly help Ra at all. I just wanted to mix them in because why not? Ooh, decent, decent. All right, we're gonna summon Volcanic Rocket again. Although, between yeah, Volcanic me. Rocket and uh, that, I'm not going to look up Blaze Cannon this time. I'm going to get Blaze Accelerator Reload because I have two other Volcanics in my hand that I would love to use for draw power. So, yeah. End turn. Nice and simple. Alright. Well, since you control a monster and I don't, I get the special summon Lord Gaia the Fierce Ooh, Knight. Ooh, hello. Very then nice. Then I'll normal summon my Command Knight. Obviously, this is still a heavy in-progress deck, but sure. it's still fun to use. Alright, I'm just going to use this now. Activate. Let's see. Actually, can I do some shenanigans here? I think I may be able to. We're going to find out. I will activate this boy. I hate that so much. <laughs> Just that uh, Blaze Accelerator protection here. And there we go. Get to keep my rocket. The, and you could do that every turn? No, just once. It's Well, it's really just the one time when I have Volcanic Scatter Shots. It's because I have to send the two from my deck, so unless I shuffle them back into my deck. Which Blaze Burn decks do? That is a big component of them. Um, but yeah, once that goes down, then I can just do that once. Let's see, what can I possibly do now to set things up? Maybe that wasn't even the best play considering, but I didn't know I was going to draw this ancient chant. So, I'm going to go ahead and use it. And you know, I still have an extra draw after this with my uh, reload, so let's find out. Maybe we can get the card we need. So we'll toss that. And, nope, oh, just another blaze cannon. Two blaze cannon draws in a row. Alright, we could activate ancient chant, but you see, we can't exactly summon a winged dragon of Ra right now. So, yeah, that's the tough part. I think we will just set a card and, and defense mode. Nah, I'll keep you on attack. End my turn. All right. Oof, not the card I need right now. Looks like I still got one more turn on the swords. Yeah, buying yourself that time. And no means of summoning, so... Pretty sure I have no means of summoning. Yeah, I definitely don't. Because if I activate that, that's just going to help the situation. Yeah, literally sitting on three cards that help out with the whole Rob being on the field, but not the ones that summon it. 
Yeah, and that's just okay. what Blaze can it inevitably is. It's just another card that supports Raw once he's already on the field. Still good though. Yeah. Oh man. I put three high level monsters in a deck to mm -hmm. tribute for. Guess what I drew on the starting hand. Yeah. All it right. happens. It so happens. I've used Millennium Revelation so many times and it failed every time. Let's let's all book book time. We're gonna read it. You can send one Divine Beast Monster from your hand to your graveyard. Yes, we have one of those. In fact, we could actually do it with this guy, couldn't we? Yes, we could. Um, add one Monster Reborn from my deck to my hand. That part works. You can send this card face up from your Spell and Trap Zone to the graveyard. Okay, so we want to make sure everything goes perfectly before doing that. And then this turn, you could Special Summon Winged Dragon of Ra from your graveyard with Monster Reborn. So we do want to cast that one away. Um, but you must send it to the graveyard during the end phase of this turn. Alright, however, this can be an OTK potential, because it doesn't say I can't attack or anything. So we are going to try it. Activate. Please allow me to send this to the graveyard. Okay, so I activated it. I can send one Divine Beast Monster to my graveyard. But the thing is, I don't think that's going to happen when I hit activate on this. <laughs> so I'm just going to activate it, and I don't think it's going to work. Um, well, maybe. Let's see. You can, uh, search Monster Reborn. Let's do that effect first, and we'll toss that to the graveyard. Maybe it's just I have to use them both in the right order. Maybe that's what we're doing here. We get the Monster Reborn. Now, is the card gonna stay this time? It does! Okay, now I can activate the second effect. This should actually work. And we can Monster Reborn a Winged Dragon of Ra. Activate its effect. Uh, yeah, sounds about right to me. Oh, that effect. Well. Hmm. <laughs> Bye, Rocket! Um, let's see, what can I do now? Nothing really. Um, so, I can't get any power off him is the problem. With that. Uh, now what is the use of doing this, then? I'm curious. Any ideas? Mm, no, I, d I honestly don't know. Yeah, because it's going to it's going to the end grave at the end phase because it's, because it says right here, special summon by effect of uh, monster reborn, meaning it's going away at the end. Yeah, so I'm really getting curious how this is useful at all, because Rock can't just give himself more attack. No. Hmm. And it isn't, it isn't even giving it, like, the 4,000 base like the other cards Oh, uh, well, with the one with the Sun God, I could have done some big stuff here. So I'll do it. Activate this card's effect now. Yeah, so, okay. So I could have done that and hooked myself up. And then if I had another monster on the field, that's where I could have Blaze Cannon and popped that guy for the additional 19. Um, but, yeah. Well, actually, your life points are low enough from the burn. That still works. 69. Nice. Yep, let's hit you with that 69. Nice. So, I guess it worked. It's just sloppy, um, but it worked. Okay, so it's only if you have the, like, proper um, support, like one with the Sun God, that the Millennium Revelation is going to be any good. Because I can't think of any situations where I'd want just a Ra to be on the field for sake of it being on the field. Can't think of any reason. Yeah, honestly. Though the new card is good, Millennium Revelation just seems like a floater. Yeah, it's... I mean, the concept of it's great. It's just the fact that I come out with no attack. Now, I might be still be missing something. Feel free to let me know in the comments. But we'll see. Um, let's see what we got. We got that. We got this. We got that. All right. Well, we're just going to use a Millennium Chant. Or Ancient Chant. <laughs> hey, we were just talking about you. Yep, the good card. And funny enough, I do have Millennium Revelation. But there's no reason to play it right now. Because it's for turn one, and wow. Yeah, definitely Blaze Cannon. I have two in my opening hand. Not the card to have three copies of. I'm going to call it now. All right. Hmm. All right. So, let's just activate a Magical Mallet real quick. Okay. Nice, nice. Nice. Get an Empowerment. Set a card down. Summon out the Goblin Bird. Classic. Goblin Bird allows me to bring out... DD Assailant. Then, this allows me to... Let me see. 
Uh, so allow you to do, Mario. I'm trying to figure out, like, what is the <laughs> best play? Because I know what's coming if your Volcanics hit me again. True. Because if your Volcan... I have to. Yeah, I, I have to assume. It's like... Because <laughs> your Volcanics just run me over constantly. True. It's like they've been clearing the field, and then your Raw just comes in with this overwhelming attack. Yeah, if attack I have the Tri Blaze Accelerator in that card that I just send to the graveyard with it, boom, instant field clearage, instant 1500 damage. Yeah. And that's what Volcanic Maybe. decks do. They really use that a lot and just cycle it again and again and again. Do that, and this allows me to get a warrior to my hand that I want. Mm hmm. I think I want to add. Little does he know. No, oh, I have nothing. This is like the stress. Actually, like, nothing. I know what's coming, but figuring yeah, out do. like how to stop it. Mhm. Mm yeah, I think. I just want a card on the field just to mess with him. Blaze Cannon's not gonna do anything, guys. What's next? Sending him down, and then just attacking. Not forgetting this time. Fair. It's because I put a card on the field. That's the only reason you remembered. <laughs> Don't take this away from me. I was actively trying to make myself remember. Fair enough. All right, so yeah, we can agent chat to do that, but it's not gonna do anything if I do it by way of that. And if I don't do anything, well, we're just gonna have a hard time now, aren't we? So yeah. That all being said and done, huh? Is there anything I can do here that's smart? Yeah. Um, All right. Sure. Oh. All right. So here's that. what we're going to do. Millennium Revelation. All right. We're going to activate the Search Monster Reborn. To bra to the grave. Okay. Monster Reborn. My desk boy. <laughs> Bring another raw is not gonna help me whatsoever, but this is gonna at least clear your field, right? Oh, sure. that's annoying. So we'll take 200 damage to get rid of that. Banishing Banishes both monsters. of your pieces too, all in one. Yep. And that's where I end my turn. Not the traditional way of using Millennium Revelation whatsoever, but... Look like I can do this and get an instant monster. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Get the Dragodides on the field. Very good. And do some attack damage. At least I know if you attack with Raw, it's not going to be as powerful. Depending on how I summon him out. Yeah. Combo him with Blaze Cannon and the... Uh the other card then we might be on to something that being said i have absolutely nothing that really bad of a hand yeah just add uh, the blaze cannon slow me down two raz sphere mode so, yeah it's the end of the day it's gonna be yeah it's just hard yep i don't think there was anything i could have done differently nope not at all just that's how the draws went i think i made the smartest choice for I love, you know, giving myself the most chance of getting something going. Obviously, if I got any of my slime cards, um, then I would be able to summon Ra. I'm just not getting them. So it is what it is. Activate this. Discard that. Allows me to special summon back a warrior. Ah, not a big game. Well, it's yep. face down. Oh, okay. But I still think I can get you with game on this one. Okay. You got a burn somewhere? Not exactly a burn. Yeah, I guess I'll finish you. Activate Battle Guard Rage, which empowers my monster ah, by a thousand. Very nice. A little reactionary. I had a little bit of a field. If you notice the uh, back row, Drag uh, mm -hmm. Uh If you would have attacked, which I thought you would have done with Raw, uh, once per turn, you can just uh, Pendulum Effect when a monster, um, opponent's monster declares an attack. Yeah, you can face. destroy this card and the battle phase. I could have done that. I was thinking, oh, we're gonna have to get rid of that DD on that side of the field anyway, so might as well let yeah, you burn. Yeah, I knew that thought was going through your head, just because, yeah. 
it's, it's a decent play by me, and it's the best play I could have made, but it's not that detrimental for you. It really isn't, no. Yeah, so just holding on to it in case I did get that lucky raw. And yeah, there's cards in the deck that would, like, one card set me up with a raw, but I think it's like six cards in the deck, so I didn't happen to pull those. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Looks like I was able to show you uh, some of the potential of Blaze Cannon, certainly, to get that massive damage. But at the end of the day, you don't need that much overkill. Like, Ra's already going to be super powerful in most scenarios. He's still mm -hmm. pretty great. So I'd put Blaze Cannon at, like, a medium medium usefulness card. It's just too situational. But, of course, you, you know, for the you protection could, aspect. I would recommend, like, putting one in if you yeah, really want searchable. to. And, uh... And if you want to, if you feel like you need it for a certain deck you're fighting, put it inside deck as one. There you go. Yeah, just like the field cards such as Man of the Bound, that'll protect you a lot of things as well. So for the protection, it's you know there's different things. We thought it could be crazy, but it's just just makes Rock crazier once he's actually already crazy. So up to you guys if you want to use it or not. But leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. See you, folks. Didn't work.